Sup and good day gamers, a formal bust here with Open World Game, THE Open World Game, a first impression of it at the very least. And before we get into that, our sponsor as always, H2O, drink it up or die. Oh, that's delicious. G get you some water, gamers. Okay, this is Open World Game, THE Open World Game. This was released in November of 2019 and developed and published by Morning Person Games. It is, uh, as described on Steam, open world game, the open world game, is the purest open world game experience. Enjoy simplified mechanics, minimal graphics, and an extremely short main story. All so you can get to the work, uh, get to the work removing every icon from the map with the least resistance. Uh, it is uh, free to play. It does have some DLC. One is a golden skin, uh, which they clearly state just goes to support the devs and pub devs and publishers in this instance. And there's also another uh, DLC called like the gratuitous DC. It just seems like it adds more content, which yeah, I, I don't know how much content's in the game, but it just says it adds more. Um, all right. Uh, Steam says it is an open world game, a free to play game, an RPG, indie, and satire game. So let's get into it. Uh, we have continue new game and load game. We're going to go to options first. So we got volumes, fine, display, cool, plenty, plenty, plenty of resolutions in here at tons of different hertz. Uh, I'm going with windowed mode, but they also have, if I can click on it, borderless window and full screen. And quality, I'm gonna go with ultra. Uh, HUD, show on change, we're gonna, I'm gonna keep it always on. I don't know, yep. V-sync, uh, sync to refresh rate, sync to one half refresh rate. I'm just gonna leave it off, should be fine. No, 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 we'll sync to refresh rate, why not? Uh, frame rate cap, 60, but, nope. Wait, maybe. Okay, yeah, so frame rate cap, yeah, when you're not, yep. Yeah. But we're gonna sync to refresh rate, all right. And submit, I guess. And escape to go back. I guess there could be more uh, settings, I guess. I don't know what all else they could have in the game. Um, but options seem pretty slim. Credits are right here. Exit game right here. We're going to go straight into a new game. Uh, we'll go over save one. Yeah. That was just testing the actual, you know, that the game ran could run with uh, OBS running. Did you know every time you level up, you earn a skill point? Okay, that's... Seems a little on the news. Did you know your journal keeps track of what you have and haven't read? Okay, well, most journals do that in video games. Thank you. Skill points can be spent in the skills tab of the pause menu. Darn it, I was going to spend them elsewhere. This isn't really a loading screen. <laughs> it wouldn't be an open world game without waiting. Okay, I see the satire. I see the satire. So far, I appreciate it quite a bit. Oh. Oh. On my end, the program is not... Resp oh, there we go. Navigate to the quest on the mini-app. Okay, I mean... This looks okay. Something's not quite right. I'm at like 47 frames. The graphics are okay. Oh. Key is not bound to the window, or mouse, uh, mouse is not bound to the window. Oh. Okay. Much better. You didn't need to see all that anyway. Well, touche. Uh, okay, can I... Oh. Oh. Movement. Okay, up and down, so it's not forward. That's it? Oh. Right, down, up, down. Okay. Oh man, I got 59 experience. Okay, so, da, 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 da. Got a skill point, y'all. <laughs> Quick level up. Okay, so, skills. So, well, let's go to stats. Question mark, question mark. Okay. So I got challenge, okay, challenges. I guess we'll discover what all these are. Best views of Exuvia. Gives a better perspective of your surroundings. Okay, so different markers on the map, I guess. Regions. Arago, Arogania. 
a realm of fantasy and magic trapped in perpetual war. Iskia, a mountainous land where people go to forget their troubles. Sky Archie, highest peak, the highest peak in technology and the lowest depths of character. Oh man, man, deal, 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 dealing it, aren't they? Just dealing it out. Lidlum Caves, the mysterious crystal caves of Exuvia. Dangerous and lucrative. The Infinite Wastes, a wasteland of endless sand scarred by long forgotten wars. Okay, interesting. Nice to know you can learn it. So these are Tale of Your Epic Adventure to Save Exuvia. There's only 10? Okay, question mark. Tales of your many tasks, journeys, and everything in between across Exuvia. Those are the best views. The best part of any epic adventure. A fish. Okay. The most memorable moments with your closest companions. Oh, we got companions. Uh, the last line, holding back the mist, repairing the beacons, is essential to the safety of Exuvia. I guess I should watch out for that then. Uh, finish a collection of materials. So, yeah, these are all powerful. Uh, the most powerful weapons. Reforge, strongholds of evil in Exuvia. Most unnecessary... <laughs> the most unnecessary collectible in Exuvia. There's 32 of them. At least there's not, you know, 144. The most mysterious, fascinating, and magical accessories of Exuvia. And a little gecko, your research on the reptiles and amphibians of Exuvia. Okay, so skills, though. Skill tree. Okay, so I have generalist, speedrunner, completionist. We're doing a first impression, so let's go speedrunner. This ability was obviously difficult to program and is consequentially e easy to abuse. It's called complex ability. Okay, wall jump. Press cross to jump off walls as easily as jumping off the ground. Okay. Gain this ability to skip cutscenes. Uh, protect yourself from enemy attacks. Slightly increases some stats. Hold your breath to gain increased accuracy. And completion is plus 10. To okay. Finesse. We're gonna, let's, let's go with charm. Get some speech in here. Oh, nice. So I got to confirm. Um, all right. Nice. What's well, journal? Main quest. Side quest. Okay. Oh, wow. So there's, like, lore in this. Okay. We'll read one. Uh, chapter one, you arrived at the promised meeting place, the cave by the sideways tree <laughs> northeast of Prefator. You guessed the tree was kind of sideways. No one was there, so you were unsure if that was the right cave. But you were promised answers to how you arrived in this nightmare of a world. You kicked around outside the cave for half an hour before deciding that the tree was more of a diagonal and began to leave. When there was a rustling close by in a bush, you glanced over to see the eyes of a frightened child gazing suspiciously at you. You gave a gentle beckoning motion and he skittered out to you. The man you were supposed to meet had been taken captive in Leodom. Before you left, the child muttered something about it being dangerous to go alone and gave you the weapon from the cover art of the game. Kind of looks like a compass. Okay. I, okay. Chapter 2, we're suddenly arrested. Also in... Okay. So, I don't think these things actually happened, but whatever. Da, 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 da. It's easy. More XP. Da, 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 da. Skill points. I'm going to go with this complex ability thing. Uh... Well, yeah, I can't. Yeah, well, let's go speed runner and completionist. Okay. Level up. Do, 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 do. I do like the audio. Leveling up is really easy, it seems. Let's try wall jump, see if we can actually do anything with that. Oh, another level up? No. Can I go off? Okay, you can go off the beaten path. So Q and E do nothing. WASD does that. Space does nothing. Control does nothing. Shift does nothing. Or, nope, shift doesn't make you move quicker. Okay. It does seem like you... Well, hold on. Oh. Yeah, you seem like you slow down in the forest. I guess this is forest area. Uh, da, 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 da. 93 XP. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> they did promise that the main story was short. So I'm going to let this play out because bravo for the satire of the main story being just this. Man, Zach Berglund. A lot of, a lot of work there. Powered by WY. Special thanks. Okay. Hey, nice. 
Special thanks to Word of Mouth Indie Games, Hook Chang, Hayuk Chang, I believe, John Total Biscuit Bane. Nice, 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 nice to see. Okay, is that the end? It's the end of the game, y'all. Okay, so I do have one more skill point available. Uh, let's go with the uh, block. And, yeah. Okay, so that's the whole story. Can I... Oh. Okay. Check out a question mark. Town Minstrel in... Okay, so it looks like you collect this stuff. And then once you do that, you can read the... <laughs> oh, man. This is this is pretty funny. I'll, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. And I can see myself doing this. Especially trying to figure out what, if anything... Oh. Wait, can I... Can I... I can't zoom out. That is nice. I guess. Okay, so... Doesn't look like we're short of skill points at all, which is good. Uh, there was something up here. Heart? Yeah, what's this? Companion? Mm -mm, uh -mm, uh. Gosh. Oh, question marks. Hunt Tutorial Monsters Entry 3. Hunt Tutorial Monsters Entry 2. So, got those backwards. It doesn't seem like you can get these right now. What? Can I... Additional points in branch, I need two. So I can't get anything, it seems. Oh, okay, because some things cost more than one S uh, skill point. Okay. Understandable. I can understand that. All right, let's just head. Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just go toward every single thing we see on our map. Oh, wow. So these are just the edges. All right, let's just go around the edge of this main area then. Nice view, nice view. All right. Okay, to skill points, I got nothing. Okay. Can I cross water? Nope, yep, I can't, it just goes slowly. Oh, what is this? Because apparently this is the most important. Oh gosh. Okay. Ugh. So there is something challenging or more challenging in this game than just the WASD challenges. Rainbow Trout Entry. What's this? Oh! Okay, so literally just a collectible. Phoenix Feather Entry. Level up. Nice. Nice. Ooh, little hut, I guess. Little building. I gotta say, this is very simple. And very... Uh, oh, gosh. I'm gonna hate getting these. Oh, gosh. No. Yeah, screw the fish. We ain't doing the fish. I am not doing the fish. So far, it's pretty fun. Pretty bonkers and ridiculous for a satire. I mean... <laughs> oh, entry two. I wonder if you can speed up your movement eventually. Generic fetch quest entry two entry. Level up. Uh, gain the ability to skip cutscenes. What's this do? Slight. Sure. Slightly increases some stats. We're not doing the fish. We're not doing the fish, I've decided. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. Bandit Fortress Entry 1. Okay, so. This whole game is literally just moving your cursor around. Quite, quite enjoy it. The audio is nice. Doesn't sound, you know, bad. Oh, here's, here's another big fortress we gotta fight. Let's fight him. <laughs> oh no, I, I missed Bandit Fortress uh, 2 entry. No, we're not fishing. We're not fishing. We're not fishing. I'm not gonna fish. You can't, you can't make me. Ooh, a feather. Can I? Okay, so there is an edge to the map. In which case, let's just go around the whole edge of the map. Ellen the Raven entry.
Oh, here we go. Another big fortress we gotta fight. I mean, it's an open world game. I'll give it that. Uh, can we level up? I guess we can only do this. Oh, sorry. Keep wanting to press E. Gain the ability to skip cutscenes. I haven't seen any yet, but if we have any cutscenes, we can now skip them. <gasps> Another collectible! Man, I might be able to finish this in an hour. I don't know. I don't know how large this world is. Mushroom gathering entry. Oh no. It's just sand out here, y'all. Or mountains, sorry. Although the mountains, they just do with topographical uh, markers. Can I just go? Oh, this is gonna be slow. This is gonna be real slow. And there's probably only fish out here. There's just fish out here. There's only fish out here. Oh, there's a gecko. Or, yeah. Reptile. Mirror snake sentry. Okay. Another level. Can't get anything, though. Okay. Nope. Avoiding all the fish. Don't want to do the fish. <laughs> Oh, you even have, uh, i just now noticing it because, uh, y'all can see it much better. My, uh, FPS tracker, which we've been running, I mean, 60, dropping maybe to 58 this whole time. Yeah, uh, but we have a percentage of how much is completed. So if we're at 10% and we're at 16 minutes, I probably won't be able to complete this in an hour. So, you know, 10%, you know, 160 minutes of cane play probably. So that's pretty decent. Oh god, this region is giant though. Oh no. Mysterious shrine entry. Uh down, up, left, down. Fire Drake's entry. Oh, gotta get that. Gotta get it. Pumpkin soup entry, okay. I mean, this is the game, you know. It is open world, like they promised. Uh, oh no, no no. And Golden Dust Gecko's entry. And now we're at the top corner. So, map isn't giant, it's just how much there is in it, probably. Alright, skill points? Nothing. Let's read journal, though. Uh, let's go through the main quest line, so... You traveled to Leodum and were suddenly arrested. Also in custody was a man painted with stone. Was a man painted with stone. Painted with stone. Okay, whatever. And wearing a decorative claw. The man you've been searching for. Okay. I mean, seems pretty easy to find if he's painted with stone. You were both brought to a chopping block outside of Leodom to be executed. With no escape in sight, you lay your head down and accepted death. Just then, the mighty roar of a dragon, okay, pierced the heavens and sent everyone into a state of panic as the dragon laid waste to the land. You and the man, painted with stone, made your escape. Protected from the fire and the flames by your plot armor. Oh, thank God. I, you need plot armor. Otherwise, you know, there's no way you're going to survive a, you know, open world game. You and your companion reached safety. The clawed man thanked you for saving him and reintroduced himself as Gish. You made yourself a sandwich while he told you all about the, this world, Exuvia, a wor the world without a home. The world Exuvia is full of the unfinished, but, G <laughs> but Gash and his companions hope to bring change to the world. If you want to know more, you need to return to the starting cave, which is actually the secret hideout for Gash's society, the Restorers. Chapter 3 of the main quest. Waiting for you at the cave by the uh, angled tree was a woman named Silly. Somehow she was expecting you, okay, and she guided you to the Restorers' hideout, the Rising Sands. Gish was there and introduced you to the rest of the Restorers. He then told you about the great Mist Dragon that had been terrorizing the land. He wanted you to find out more about the dragon and directed you to travel to Abs Absentia to beseech the ancient historian for information. You were free to go wherever you wanted. But to travel to Absentia and meet with the ancient historian, you must return to the Rising Sands and set out with Hroth the Halfling. Very much riffing on multiple different lore and uh, uh, events in certain open world games that you may be fond of. But hey, it's all a good ribbing. You travel, you, you travel, you travel to Absentia with your fellow restorer, Hroth, and on the way, he told you about how Gesh first convinced him to join the restorers. 
He also confessed that he was on his first time outside of Aragona, Aerogania, Aerogania, we're going to go with Aerogania, which made you puzzle why Gesh picked him to be your guide. Inside the town of Absentia, you found the ancient historian, a humble-looking dwarf, sitting in a stupor outside of a local inn. All historians, they got they to knock back a little bit. As you went to speak to her, a group of out-of-practice assassins, sur- out-of-practice assassins, nice, surrounded you. After dispatching the mysterious assassins, you and Hroth speak to the ancient historian. She introduced herself as Varice. Ver- and promised to tell you all you want to know if you would put her up at the inn for the night. After <laughs> Ancient historian. There's no money in being an ancient historian, apparently. After paying for a room and board, you sat down to dinner and asked about the mist dragon. Verice told you that the dragon is most likely Vothgar, the oldest being of Exuvia. The great dragon is only one of the many forms Vothgar has been depicted as over the years, but the most common. In the morning, Haroth convinced Verice to travel back to the Rising Sands, where you must travel as well, eventually. Alright, mid-game right here, mid-storyline, let's see what happens. You arrive back at the Rising Sands alongside Haroth and Verice, only to find the hideout empty and in shambles. Shocker. You found an injured elf hiding in the shadows. He was one of the restorers you met before, Rayua. First time I'm hearing the name, but whatever. Uh, Verice cast healing magic on the elf and she sprung right up and explained what happened. Okay, ancient historian, also healer, feels like you can make some money there. But there's plot holes all over this, and I think that's really the point. Good old satire here. And explained what happened. A group of spotty assassins. Okay, so we went from out of practice assassins to spotty assassins that look like the ones that attacked you in Absentia. Okay, well, how did they know? Okay, yeah. Plottles. Attack the hideout. Gesh and the others escape through a secret tunnel in the back that leads to the city of Skyarch. Rayua got hit in the leg with an arrow during the attack and was unable to make it to the tunnel before they had to seal it off. She had been hiding ever since waiting for you. Rayua has a Skyarchain. Skyarchain or Skyarchain device that she can use to contact Gish and she'll wait for your return to the Rising Sands when you are ready to find him. Chapter 6. You and Rayua contact Gish, who immediately answered. Through the static of the connection, you could hear a very stressed Gish tell you that their travel to Skyarch did not go as planned. He urged you to head to Pin Tower to meet him as soon as possible. You, Hrarth, Verse, and Rhea traveled to Skyarch to try to get directions to Pin Tower. You all looked very out of place in Skyarch. You also struggled to find a person who you could ask directions from, as everyone just tried to sell you something. Eventually, someone offered to show you the way to Pen Tower, but led you into an ambush by some thugs with stun batons that quickly overpowered you. You woke up to find yourself in a small prison with six cells, and the cells were the other restorers, Roth, Vars, Rayu, and Seal. The last cell was occupied by a mysterious hooded figure. Seal loudly whispered from the cell next to you that Gish was on his way. Soon after, Gish himself appeared at the bottom of the stairs to free you. Solid work. As you made your way out of the cell, the hooded figure reached through the bars and grabbed you. Don't trust him, he hissed in your ear. Gish came to your aid, striking the hooded figure back, and you both left him behind. Safe outside, the restorers decided to split up and return to the most likely safe, most likely safe again, Rising Sands. All right, chapter six. Gonna get some H2O, though. You met up with the restorers back at the usual hideout and found out that the time spent in Skyarch wasn't entirely a waste. Gish tracked down the headquarters of the assassins that had been plaguing you and Sale spent some time spying on their organization. The group is actually a cult called the Vothians, to, uh, who worship Vothgar, and are trying to restore it to its full power. She also heard some vague information about a magic ring somewhere near the tranquil vacation town, Lake of Fire. Get your tan on, I guess. That has something to do with Vothgar. Gesh decided to take the restore. Gesh decided that the restorers must be the first to get to this magic ring and sent everyone to the Lake of Fire. Once there, you met up with an old friend of Ciel, an elf named Enel. The Lake of Fire is somewhat infamous for its thriving community of artisans that produce many peculiar magic rings. And Enel has one of the largest collections in town. He showed you one particularly excessive ring that looked like a loop of diamond scales and explained that while the potential magic inside was vast, no one could yet determine the purpose of its magic. 
It sounded like the kind of ring you were after, <laughs> so you persuaded Neil to join up with the restorers. You all took the ring and began <laughs> journeying back to the Rising Sands. Got this ring. Doesn't do anything, but it probably does some good stuff. Okay. Chapter 8. Almost the very end. And I still haven't completed the main quest. Maybe it'll tell me where to go. You found the restorers back at the Rising Sands, waiting for Gish to return so they could tell him about the ring. In the meantime... They had captured a mysterious hooded figure who was snooping around the fallen tree that marks the entrance and had, tie and had him tied up in a corner. It was the same hooded figure you left locked in the cell in Skyarch. His, fortress, his fortune's not improved. The man begged to speak to you and told you his name was Hanthamen? Hanthamen. Of the beast men from the Infinite Wastes, you call him Tham. He came to warn you about Gesh. Who, who he said visited the Vothian headquarters many times and has probably been one of them all along. You initially scoffed at the notion, but then Seal ran in to tell you that Gish had just been spotted leading an army of Vothians back with him. You confronted Gish and he revealed that Vothgar is actually long dead. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Is actually long dead, but his, powers, his power can still be harnessed. The ring in your possession is called the Dragon's Eye and is one of the three Vothian artifacts that can be used together at Vothgar's shrine near the mist to imdue, imdue, imbue, imbue their wielder with the ancient power of Vothgar. The two other artifacts are the Stone Scales and the Mistbearer Claw, which Gish has, has been wearing the entire time. Okay, he demanded the Dragon's Eye so that he could ascend to be the great ruler of Exi Exuvia. <laughs> that he was always destined to be. You tried in vain to resist him, but were struck down and lost the ring. As your consciousness faded, a blinding flash of light covered the battlefield and you felt yourself being lifted, hopefully being carried back to the Rising Sands, because that place has been safe. Chapter 9. You awoke to find yourself surrounded by the other restorers who were all ecstatic to see you awake. It was Tham who blinded the Vothians with a common beastman weapon and aided in your escape. Gesh apparently had no time to waste and set off west, with his army to the shrine of Vothgar. Battered and tired, you still managed to rouse the others to race after Gish and stop his sinister plot. What a twist. Hroth, Ryu, Sil, Virais, Enel, and Hanthamon all join your surprise counterattack against the Vothians. Amidst the chaos of the battlefield, you make out Gish running back into the shrine, and you chased after him. Could not stop him as he made it to the inner sanctum, where the shrine gives way to the deep void of the mist. In that moment, when all seemed lost, a large dragon roar shook the earth, uh, air, and your very bones. A gigantic dragon appeared out of the mist, roaring again and knocking everyone off their feet. In one large bite, the dragon ate Gish, and he was gone. Vothians soon retreated, and the restorers stood victorious. Filled with excitement, shock, and abounding camaraderie, you decided that the next step is simple. To go out and explore Exuvia, trying to make the world a better place, with a world full of discoveries ahead of each of them. Everyone returns to, no doubt, the Rising Sands. Alright. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. D okay. Broken wheel. Found a band of travelers on the side of the road. On the side... Uh... Oh, you said you found a band of travelers on the side tending to a wagon with a broken wheel. Lucky for them, you're a master of all trades. Okay. Got some potatoes. All right. Side quests. Lookout points. Uh, bell tower. The view of the whole town perfect from the top of the bell. Okay. Fish. Best part of any of it. <laughs> okay. Yep. Best part. Best part. Fish. Uh, relationships. Got some. Ellen the Raven. A, se a seemingly old woman. Seemingly because she's wearing a raggedy bird outfit that coats every inch of her. Mm. She keeps going on about hunters and hunting, but there's no one else here or anything around to hunt for. Though perhaps the greatest hunt is the one for love. Your relationship with Ellen grew stronger. Nice. Now I know why she's the raven. Oh, Rayua. Oh, man. Dating the party. <laughs> I love how I have this and then... But there's a second one. Oh, gosh. Okay. Relationships just with everyone. Beacons. Do I have any of these yet? No, I don't. I don't. It'd be lit up. Okay. Fortresses. Bandit Fortress 1. Conquered a hideout of bandits, hoarding weapons and simple jewelry, and acquired small amount of loot. <laughs> nice. Nice. Dark Magician. You conquered a fortress full of dark magicians wearing silver embroidered robes and acquired a significant amount of loot. Okay. Uh, masks, I guess we get it. Feathers! What feather? Cabin feather. 
found behind a cabin. You suddenly felt very claustrophobic and started singing a song. It was a difficult climb, but you managed to find it on the side of a cliff. Okay. Uh, herptiles. Okay. Fire drakes. Fire breathing drakes of the Crimea mountain range. As terrifying as their fire might seem, they only use it to show off. Bu bu bunch of show offs. Get the odd feeling there's gotta be other elemental drakes. Probably gold dust gecko. Small bright green gecko covered in golden spots. Thought to bring good luck, the people of Absentia often keep them as pets. Okay. So, seems like most of the info, uh, uh, lore wise, of the world is in your journal. Oh gosh, sand. Move pretty slow. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh no, oh no. Cliff hopping entry. Oh, another fortress. Here we go. Big old fight coming up. Oh, I got them all. Oh, Templar fortress. Didn't really mean to kill Templars, but they can be. They can be. There can be evil Templars. There were evil Templars in multiple games. Oh, gotta get it. Gotta get it. I'll just get this fortress. So yeah, this is the game. It runs very well. Free to play, so if you want to waste, uh, or, you know, entertain yourself for a couple of hours, this is probably right, right, right up, right exactly what you should get. It's free. There is content, or there is DLC that adds more content, and one that just goes to support the, uh, devs, so I would check that out if you're interested. I don't think these do anything, really. <laughs> I haven't noticed any difference. Ability skip. This ability can be exploited to get past a barrier that is supposed to be... Okay, nice. I think these are all just end jokes. Improved run. Oh. Uh, I will... I will... So, maybe the blue means it actually does something. Counter. Okay, so let's just see. This should tell us if it works. Okay, I move, I move somewhat quicker. Okay, cool. I think we're in a city here, though, so let's check out this city. Oh, yeah. Jamming. Okay, so I want to see something. We'll get that mask in a second. Yeah, the audio... Yeah. So each area also seems to have audio connected to it. This is very well done for being a, a free-to-play satire game. A mask. Queen's mask. Let's get... Nice, nice. Quite nice. I am enjoying this very much. Uh, I probably won't do a full review on it. I don't know what else there would be to say. Gameplay is very simple. I mean, most satire games. See, they're very simple. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, get to it. Oh, man. Another level up. Yeah, like I said, not much to say about this. I'm enjoying it. I'll probably play it occasionally. Definitely probably when I am, uh... Oh no! Definitely, uh... This is a very good, what, uh, windowed game, I would call it. Played in a window while you, uh, are either working on something else, or... Me, whenever I'm editing, I need something to, you know, take my mind off of the editing when I'm checking my edits. So yeah, this is a very good uh, game so far for the price. Amazing. Nice viewpoint. Oh, this is a big city. Okay. Oh no. Sketchy salesman. Oh, gotta get the collectible. I'm not getting the fish. I'm not getting the fish. Yeah, if you're a completionist or just, you know, enjoy satire games, this is for you. Even if you don't, pick it up. Free to play. Alright, I think I've said as much as I want to on this. Let's get one more level. And let's see what uh, skills have uh, overall. 
So, to me, the white is just, you know, they're messing with you. It's a joke. It doesn't do anything. Because um, you can't even see your stats. I don't see... Shibios? Oh, achievements. Okay, stats. Yep, question mark, question mark. Regions. Okay, nice. I haven't even made to Lidum Caves or the Infinite Wastes. But skills. So, if it's in blue, it actually does something in the actual game. It isn't just a satire thing. So, movement speed increased. Does nothing. Uh, ignore terrain impediment. Nice. Uh, okay, there's no ladders. Increases movement speed. Again, nice. Nothing. Press space to roll. Okay. Finally a reason to button mash. Nice. Uh, yeah, all items in inventory. Okay, cool. Skill will make challenges easier to sabass. Don't know how it will do it. Maybe get rid of the, one of them. Okay, critical hit. Skill will make challenges more difficult, but they will yield more XP, so... Yeah, negate each other. Okay, immunity to fear. Stronger attack. Uh, the skill will make challenges easier to surpass. Permanently increases a hidden stat. Mm -hmm. Do a fancy spin before attacking. Skill and make challenges. So this is all makes everything easier to surpass and gives you more XP. Over here, uh, incredibly high speech stat can make even the most ridiculous answers believable. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, nope, sorry. Uh, lock picking, but with computers. Dun, dun, nothing. Lock picking, but with merchants. Uh, Eagle Vision, press left shift to highlight what's important. Alchemy, craft potions with materials in convoluted and monotonous system. Okay, yeah. Scanner, view additional information when aiming at a target. Yep. Fast travel, finally unlock fast travel in the stats menu. <laughs> Select a previously visited location in the stats menu to travel there. Okay, so I guess this probably this you can use from there. Set a custom mark. Okay, finally. It's important. Lock picking. Make money on a re irrelevant object. Advanced tracking. Select a challenge type in the status menu to be uh, pointed in the right direction. Okay. So yeah, there is some stuff. Looks like you get shift in space, and this just makes stuff easier. So, I guess speedrunners go here. But yeah. I would suggest this. Uh, first impression, so not a full review. I, oh, that's how they make things easier. That's what I figured. Uh, let's get this. Oh no, sorry. Well, and what's the audio? Oh, that's the edge of the map. Oh, okay. So I guess that one... Okay, yeah. I guess that thing that allows you to go... Go through stuff, that's that. But yeah, this has been me, a formal bust with Open World Game, the Open World Game, y'all. Uh, pretty good. I'm loving the audio. Um, I mean, there's not much to it other than the audio and the actual, you know, going around a 2D map. Pretty nice. But yeah, I've been a formal bust. I'm going to leave it right here, gamers, with uh, what is, I'd call, a pretty good game from what I've seen so far. And uh, until next time, gamers, take care of yourselves and drink some H2O. Stay hydrated.